Hi, welcome to the next session of SAP FICO. We'll continue the accounts receivable configuration part which we were left in the last session. The next configuration step is to create GL reconciliation account. As already discussed, reconciliation account is the general ledger account which is assigned to any sub ledger as accounts receivable is a sub ledger of in FI module we need to assign a GL to the sub ledger so that the entries or the values could flow from the subsidiary to the ledger accounts so as we are doing accounts uh, accounts receivable and in that we'll be creating customer GL reconciliation account which will later on be assigned to customer masters so to create the GL reconciliation account we'll move to the SAP system it's very similar to the reconciliation account we created in accounts payable for vendor so we'll go to the transaction code to create GL master FS00 enter now in this case to create a GL reconciliation account for customer we first have to decide whether that particular GL is an asset or liability or expense or income for the organization customer basically is a current assets to any organization that means it is a part of asset so we'll be creating a GL reconciliation account in the assets which will be assigned to the customer master so to create the GL reconciliation account for customer we first need to see how many GL accounts we have created so as to know what will be the next GL number which we will be creating now so to do that we can go for the search option click to continue now you can see these are the number of GL accounts which are already created and the series which is starting with one is related to assets accounts in which one zero 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 is already created zero one is there zero two is there that means zero three is not there so we'll be creating now the next is one zero 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 three you have to put the number over here first that which one you want to create so I will be creating three this will be for customer reconciliation account now they are, we, if you remember we created two customer account groups one was service customer account group and another was finance customer group now if I want both the groups report separately for future reference for example how much billing is done how much invoices have been booked in the service customer groups or to the finance customer groups or how many collections have been done for the month in finance customer group or to service customer groups we need to put two different ledger accounts two different GL accounts to do these two separate account groups so as to have proper reporting of the things of the transactions data as well as to have a proper report which is easy to understand and it will not make you to do much of Excel work in it so we'll be creating two different GL reconciliation account for two different customer account groups one is service reconciliation customer account and another is finance customer account so the first I will be creating is one zero 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 three now go to create as we already discussed that this GL relates to customer so I need to select the account group asset as customer relates to asset 
this account group does not relate to the customer account group but to the GL account group which we have done in the very second session uh, general ledger accounting so moving up to the next asset relates to balance sheet account so we'll select the balance sheet need to fill the short description if I am going for creating service customer account so I will write it at service customers and if I am going to have for service customers account same short text and long text so this is your description page moving to the control data in this the currency will by default always be USD as we have did the global setting for that the text category you have to take star in this so that all the texts will be allowed and you also have to select this posting without text allowed suppose in case any transactions take place which doesn't have any taxes in that so the system will not restrict you to do the transaction if you select this post without text allowed the next I will be selecting is line item display now these are the things which we are doing for creating any GL account as of now now this is a reconciliation account so we have to go to this tab reconciliation account for account type so the type is customer because we are creating this reconciliation account for customers so we'll be selecting customers in this and whenever we select customer it includes the open item management itself by default in it so we don't need to select this open item management because it is already included in the reconciliation account moving to the next tab create bank interest now whenever we create a field status group sorry create a GL reconciliation account there is a separate field status group for that if you remember when we created vendor reconciliation account in accounts payable there is a separate field status group that is with the name of reconciliation accounts that is G067 double click on it it will be selected on the screen and this is what the selection you have to do while creating a GL account so if you want to go back and check you can go back to control data and check the things again you can go to the type and description and you can check these things again so I am creating this GL for service customer group customer account group save it and your continue and your GL reconciliation account has been created one more thing is there when you see this couple of things you may know must know about FS00 that once you create this GL account if you want to know about future in, in future over here that who have created this GL for example creating a GL can be done by number of users on the client side but at times you want to know who created this GL when was this created is there any change been done in that so for that you need to go to this information CA or COCD now the first information C oblique A means chart of account and information COCD means company code so any information change done at company code level for the GL account that can be looked with the last option that is information company code you can click on it and now you will find a screen you can see and in this you can have a look that this GL is created on 8 11 2014 the user for this is user 10 the chart account for that is 1000 
currency is there so you can have all the details so in future if you want to know who created this was he authorized to create those jails or not that can be checked and is there any changes been done in the jail account for that you can go to this change documents click on it so you can see this is jail master so 8 11 2014 changed by user 10 that's it so this is how you can look after one should know how you can check when the mass when the ledger account was created and who created it what was the time and all so this is how you create a reconciliation account i created the service customer account group same way i will be creating for finance customer account group so i will be taking a four after three and i know that the last gl account one zero 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 three which i created fourth one is very similar to that so i can go for the template also and i can copy one zero 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 three descriptions and everything and just can change the description for my next one so can go to click with template over here you have to put the detail which jail account you want to copy with and the company code so once I did it okay you can see the details have been copied on the screen I have not selected but for 1000004 the details by default changed now in this case I can change the description of the ledger account and now I can make it as finance customer finance customer account rest of the things have been copied from the template so even you can do the same and now save it so your both the reconciliation account has been created so this is what relates to the creation of GL reconciliation accounts moving to the next GL master record to be created in AI now to we are done with the configuration to run the different transactions related to customer we need these different ledger accounts which has to be created in the system first is sundry debtor reconciliation account which we just created sundry debtor means the customer ledgers that is the service reconciliation account we just created and the finance cus con uh, customer account we just created that is what is sundry debtors on the income side i need a sales ledger account so that i can make an invoice for sales and on the other side i need cash discount allowed and i need the bank g on the asset side also so we'll check back whether these things are there with me defined or not so you can go to this and we will check whether these ledgers have already been created in the system or not if not we'll be creating the remaining ones so while doing the transaction i need bank i need sales i need service customer or finance customer gl account that is sundry debtors we have already created cash discount allowed so every gl account is already created we don't need any other gl account to be created now moving to the next now create customer master records so customer accounts as already discussed is a subsidiary ledger of sundry debtors and sundry debtors is a reconciliation account which comes under the head current assets which is a part of assets so sundry debtors means the service customer account or the finance customer account we just created now we'll move on to create the customer 
master records so to create the customer master record the path is over here I will be going with the T code that is the transaction code FD01 moving on to FD01 enter now in this case you can see this is the screen coming up with you you need to put your company code correctly then you need to go to the account group whether the customer master which you are creating will belong to which account group so you need to select the account group over here I need to search my account group like one I created was finance customer group so if I want to create the customer master in finance customer group I will select this mind it you don't need to fill anything on this second field that is customer because we have defined a number range to this customer account group and that number with the help of that number range a customer code will be generated for this later on by the system automatically so you don't need to fill this particular field continue now it will take you to the next page where you need to fill all the details you need to fill the title if it is a company the name of the company suppose it is Xerox LLC you need to fill rest of the things are optional if you wish to fill you can fill the address but one thing is mandatory that is the country over here so you need to fill the country which is a must if you want you can select it with the list of countries in this software you can go to see United States is there so US we have selected if you want to select the region you can go to F4 and you can select the region as well so what region of US it belongs to suppose it's belong to Florida if you want to fill the address you can even fill the address as well if suppose the customer name is big large and you you know a short form of that so that short form can be filled over here as search term so that could be Xerox so this is the first field moving down there are other fields as well if you remember when we created the finance customer account group we made the mobile number mandatory so if you move down you will find that over here the mobile number is with this tick mark that means the mandatory mark you need to fill the mobile number over here if you don't fill it the system will not allow you to create the customer master so you need to fill the number whatever you wish to suppose I fill it any number in it moving to the next is control data in control data as of now you don't need anything to be filled however if you want you can fill the location the industry and all but however this is not needed moving to the next is payment transactions in this you can fill the bank details related to the customers the country bank key bank account account holder reference and all so this is related with the banking details of the customer then marketing details in this tab will fill the marketing details what is the employee what is its annual sales regional markets industry and all moving next is uploading points so these things are not needed for uploading point is not needed 
export data if the customer is an export customer in that case you need to fill the export details over here and then if you know the contact detail of the customer even you can fill the contact detail over here for the customers for future reference so once you fill this all on the screen then you need to go to this company code data which is a most important part so moving up to this you need to fill this reconciliation account which is very important and you need not miss it so for this we created this customer in finance account group so we need to select the finance custom ledger account that is the GL reconciliation account so I have selected that account over here anything else you need to fill nothing is required in this however because these fills relate to the different modules payment transactions in this we we fill the terms of payment payment methods house banks which with which bank will be receiving the uh, incoming payment and correspondence details insurance details if the customer have got any insurance the policy number amount of insured valid and all so if you fill these things then you can go and you can save it and your customer master is created so you can see you have given a number over here one zero 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 one six times zero so this is your main, most important code that is the customer code by which that particular customer will be identified so this is how you need to create the customer master just in the same way you can create one more customer in service customer group and proceed so we created the customer master record now suppose close it suppose I need to make certain changes to the master which we have already created I want to now fill the address I want to fill more details at that point of time I didn't have any bank detail or any contact person's detail related to the customer if I come to know later on for some of the details and I want to fill those details for that particular customer how can I fill it so to change the date the master records you can go to the transaction code FD02 now if we move to FD02 enter you can see the customer over here is already coming else if there could be a lot of num customer accounts in that case you need to go and have to search with this so as of now in company code 1200 there is only one customer which we just created so you will find only one double click on it and it will be selected now continue or enter now you can see in the general data general data records the general details of the customer so you can see the name of the company is the rocks and all if you need to fill anything over here 132 west house number posting postal code and all suppose I, I made the change details as now as I, I just ma uh, maintain the address for this and I came to know the name of the person and the I just recorded that maintain that and now I need to save the data so in this case the changes have been made so the same way you can even change 
the customer master in future any number of times you want to now once you have changed the master data if you want to display only you don't need to change to change but you just need to display the data in that case cross it and we can go to the transaction code ft03 and again you can select the customer here with this option over here continue and you can select this particular you can see the detail are reflecting sort search term is the rocks postal code is there your city is already reflecting over here your company name is reflecting your customer code is reflecting so you need to select this and now going to continue you can see the over here displays display customer so whatever details you need to check you can check it over here you can go to this company code data as well this is the reconciliation account which have been assigned to it and that's it so this is how you can create your customer account customer master records and change the master data and even display the master data so moving to the next now we'll be doing the testing how the customer transactions are done in the SAP system and we check all our configurations are in place or not so the very first transaction is posting customer invoice now customer invoice can be posted in two ways one is from the finance and account side directly and another is from the sales and distribution module that is sales and distribution department for booking the invoice from sales and distribution the transactions are different which I cannot do or even accounts people cannot do that are done through the through the sales side and their invoice gets reflected in your customer account directly but now we'll be just posting a customer invoice directly from the finance and account side and we'll see how the invoice is posted and how the payments are received so the payment incoming payment process is simple and only standard one standard process is there because payment is always received from the account side so moving to the next is first is for posting the customer invoice moving to this the transaction code is FB70 so we'll go to FB70 <laughs> this transaction allows entering the customer invoice in the financial accounting module only normally all the invoices are booked through billing from this SD module it can be used to post the invoices issued in case of claims against damages we book the invoices in financial accounting module directly only in certain cases those cases can be claim against damage caused by the site contractors selling used furnitures insurance claims could be there there could be some scrap sale to the customers so these are certain cases where the invoices are directly booked from FI module so moving up to this we need to select the customer first of all so we'll go to F4 key on the keyboard and we'll select one customer so my customer is Xerox LLC I need to put the date invoice date and the invoice date could be 08114 
you need to put the amount of how much transaction you would be doing suppose I am going for 10,000 US dollars and in this you can fill the text sale to Xerox and over here remind it this reference field is always for invoice number so the invoice number has to be filled suppose the invoice number is one two four moving next you need to select over here is the GL account so whenever you book an invoice for a customer the basic accounting entry is the customer gets debited and the sales ledger gets credited so when you select this customer on the beginning in a customer invoice it means that the customer is this is, will all will already be debited automatically but you need to select the credit side in this that is why you can see the credit side are displayed because the debit will be the customer so you need to select the GL account which needs to be credited so I would be selecting the GL account with so I sales will be there so the sales ledger is selected credit amount 10 thousand US dollars and then you can move to the next with the help of tab on the keyboard if it's click on the tab it will take you to the next screen if you need to write anything as assignment number even you can write it over here you can write the text over here as well sales to Xerox so this is what you need to do and then you can go to the simulate option and click on it okay posting period 008 is not open so this is an error this is how you have to look okay so if you remember to open the posting period there was a transaction code O to open a screen OB52 if you remember for your company code 1000 sorry variant the period is not open mine is this 1200 so I need to open the 8th period you need to open the 8th period as we are running in the 8th period from April and in November it is 8th period now save it So now enter on the screen and you can see the details have opened up. Now you can go to the simulate option. Enter and you can see the journal entry has been reflected on the screen where the Xerox is debited and sales account is credited. You can uh, see this with two way outs. Basically, when we debit the customer, the posting key used is 01, and when we credit any GL account, the posting key is 5050, or the amount becomes negative in case of credit GL. So, this is your entry which will be made on customer invoice posting. And if you find it okay, then you can go to this 
save option on the screen and you can select it and it will get posted so you can okay the business area needs to be mandatory fine because you made the business area mandatory so you can see there is a business area field over here we need to select the business area so you can go to f4 key function 4 on the keyboard so as to see so if you remember the business area we created was 1210, 1220, and 1230. So I am selecting 1210 as a business area. Now I am again going to simulate. Enter. And now I can go to this post. And we will see that the transactions will get posted. And it will generate a number to you. So you can see the number generated is 1800. 000. So this is the same number which we maintained as document number range Serial number was 18 for customer invoice So this is how the customer invoice number Document number is generated if you want to see this document number even you can go to slash and FB 03 and you can again cross check this particular document number over here 2014 fiscal year enter so you can see this was the entry which was which took place if you want to see the further details over here the document number is coming document date is there posting date is there fiscal year is coming company code is coming your dollars is coming currency your reference number that is the invoice number number or you can say the bill number is coming then even if you want to see further details you can go to this display document header and you can see the document type is dr that is customer invoice you can see the username entered is user 10 it was entered on 811 so the next transaction we are going to do is to post a credit memo what is a credit memo credit memo basically is giving credit to the customer the credit may be given to the customer on various reasons maybe uh, the company has overcharged the customer or it may be that the goods have not delivered to the customer or some of the quantity has been destroyed any such reasons could be there so in that case the credit is given to the customer because the invoice has been raised so the for example if you have raised an invoice of hundred dollars to the customer and suppose he has not received the full quantity of uh, goods which he has supposed to be receiving so in case suppose he has received the goods of $80 in that case the $20 which uh, the invoice is overcharged we need to give the credit to the customer so when we give the credit to the customer the customer our, our net balance net invoice balance to be paid becomes $80 which he is supposed to pay on that particular business transaction so how we can post the credit memo in SAP is the transaction code for that is FP75 so we can go to this FB75 and with this we can book a credit memo so this is a specific transaction code to booking the credit memo for a customer otherwise you have got another option of going to this FB70 and there are again if you can see over here the transaction over here you have got the second option invoice and then the credit memo so it's the same thing you can we, we use FB70 for basically for invoice but if you want you can select credit memo and you can do the credit memo posting as well with the same transaction code 
whereas if we move to FB75 which is specifically for credit memo to a customer here you can go to this transaction and you can book the invoice as well so it's up to you which one uh, these are certain uh, things which are uh, already provided in one particular transaction but for more specific more clarity there are different transaction codes have been created specifically for uh, for this now so moving to book a credit memo it's very much similar to what we did in the last transaction that is booking customer invoice just a slight change is there uh, in that case we used to debit the customer but over here we would be crediting the customer with that much amount so let's take up uh, the customer we can select the customer so this is the customer I have selected you can take the document date over here suppose I took the document date you can take the amount suppose I take $50 only you can give the reference number to it you can write a text as well uh, credit memo on count of loss in transit so now over here you are supposed to select the transaction sorry GL account so in this case you would be taking the GL as in the earlier for invoice we, we credited sales account so over here we will be debiting the sales account because that much amount is not termed as a sale because net sale is 100 minus $20 is equal to $80 so that is the example so I am taking this as $20 so we can take over here 20 then we can move to next if you want you can write the text over here as well it's up to you and you have to take the business area so this is how it will work and now we can go and we can simulate the transaction code the transactions which we have done and you can have a look enter that the transaction is Xerox is credited by $20 and sales account is debited with $20 so you can see this Xerox is the customer who is credited at this time and the sales has been debited means the reverse entry of the invoice with a parcel amount which has not been delivered so those have been taken as a credit memo as a credit to the customer so we can click on the post on this post or save option and your transaction will get posted so you can see the transaction document number has been generated over here and if you want to see this document there are two options first as you already know you can go to FB03 but whenever the transaction is posted over here you can also go to this document over here and you can go to this display it will also show you the document from over here as well so it is 600001 so you can see the same document has been displayed to you so this is the document as stated and now if you want to check the reports for this so you can go to a bill 5 and again and you can have a look to this transaction so it is slash n fbl 5 n and you can have a look for this particular transaction as well transaction is reflected over here to you so this is over here this 20 as a part of credit memo now going back so in the same way you can go to FD 10 n and you can have a look at the customer balance as well FD 10 n and here you can select the customer code the company code and the fiscal year and you can go and you can execute over here and you can see you will find the period wise balances for the customer so this is period wise from 1st to 7 there is no transaction in the 8th period 
there is fifteen thousand fifteen to fifty dollars is debited and this much is credited so the net balance is five two three zero so this is how you can have a look to the balance over here for the customer now moving to the next is we have done with the booking of customer invoice we have booked the credit memo we have looked the customer line item and the customer balances so now we'll be moving next is to the customer payment so when you move to the customer payment the transaction code for booking the customer payment is F-28 so moving over here you have to select the date posting date document type is by default you have to select the company code and this period and currency normally a uh, few of those fields get automatically selected when we do couple of transactions for the company code then you have to select the account over here the bank account by which we will be receiving the payment so suppose I take the bank account from over here suppose I receive the incoming payment in the bank HSBC so I would be selecting the bank HSBC and the amount over here we can take so if you don't remember the amount you can take as one dollar over here and later on we can come back and we can make the changes you have to take the business area over here and then moving down you can write the text as well then you have to select the customer over here so from account you can go and you can select the customer so I have filled these details that is what you are supposed to take and you can go to this process open item so open item basically means the items which are pending to complete the cycle so we'll click on the process open item and you can see there are two transactions one there is an invoice of 5250 and another there is a debit of $20 against that so the net amount of these two will be reflecting over here that is five three two five two three zero dollars so how I can now change this one rupees which I have put initially to five two three zero is that you have to go to this document overview it will take you to the first line item which we have displayed or filled on the first screen over here and now over here you can directly change the amount to 5230 but suppose even now I don't remember the amount so in that case you can take star star automatically takes the net value which has to be taken over here so I took this star then I again go back to this process open item and we'll see that the one rupee has uh, sorry one dollar has been changed to 5230 and the assigned amount is this much so the net becomes zero that means we are ready to go for posting the transaction and now you can go to this simulate option and when we simulate this transaction it gives you the debit and credit where the bank has been debited with 5230 and Xerox has been credited with 5230 so if you find that the transaction is okay the business area is reflected over here the posting key 40 is for debit and 15 is for customer credit and this 0001 and 0002 is the line item so if it, everything is okay then you can go and you can click on the save option which is also known as the posting a transaction button so click on this and it will get the document number which have been posted that means the payment has been booked again if you want to check this document want to display this document you can go over here you can display it suppose you want now after posting you want to go back and you want some narrations to be added in that so in that case you can go to this change option and even you can go and you can make some changes to the document which is already posted so if you need to do changes you can go to this display document header here you can find that this is 
an editable field to you and this is also an editable field to you so reference is basically used for putting up the bill number or you can use it for some other purposes as well in the same way that this text can be used so it's up to you if you want to make changes otherwise uh, it's fine the user ID is coming the date of entry is coming the, the time of entry is also reflected to you from which login you are doing this is also reflected and all so this is it even if you want you can go to this line items also and you can double click on any of these lines when you double click it will show you the details inside and you can even make changes there so you can see the changes or change option is over there for assignment where I have already added this wherever you want you can add further so this is what I added and you can again go back and save this changes which you have done so saving this will save it to that particular document which was posted so this is how we will be doing incoming payment and again if you want you can go back and cross check the customer ledger so it was FBL5N to check the customer ledger we can move to this report and here you need to select the customer account then you need to go and you can execute it so we are executing the open items so right now you can see the message no item is selected why because there were only two items one invoice and one is the credit memo and both of them has been taken and has been knocked off that is cleared after the incoming payment against the incoming payment means the invoice the credit memo has been offset with the incoming payment of the customer so that means they are no more an open item they are now cleared item means their transaction cycle is complete so we can go to this cleared item and even we can execute over here and you can find those transactions in the clear item over here so you can see this latest we did the transaction is this one over here this was the transaction which we completed just now that is it 5230 so this is or even if you want to see this you can select it you can go to this display document over here and even you can check with this further so this is your document so this what display this is showing you where you're finding the GL account and the customer account suppose I don't want to see the customer account I want the final GL in which this customer transaction has went to what is the GL in which this customer transaction has gone to how can I go for that so for that you can go to this general ledger view this general ledger view only gives you the ledger view not the sub ledger only the ledger so it shows you the bank is debited and the finance customer is debit credited sorry so the finance customer is the reconciliation ledger which is assigned to that particular customer entry view this is the Xerox and Xerox is a customer which is a sub ledger and the sub ledger is assigned to the ledger that ledger is the finance customer so this is the entry view system always show you the entry view whenever you want to see the ledger to ledger view you have to go to this general ledger view you have to click it and you can see that so this is how it works and now you have to try these things at your end so that it will give you more clarity on the subject so now we are over with the customer invoice credit memo and customer payment now we have not yet done the cash discount which we give to the customer so let's take up a case of cash discount in which uh, what we can do is we will first book an invoice and then we will give discount to the customer at the time of incoming payment because you just give 
cash discount to the customer only at the time of payment only so we'll go first to book the invoice to book the invoice the transaction code is fb70 so now we will be taking a practical example where we will be booking the invoice first then again we can take some credit memo on that so suppose I book an invoice of ten thousand dollars and out of that suppose five hundred dollars goods were stolen in between the transit so the net amount comes to five hundred and sorry nine five zero zero nine thousand five hundred dollars and out of that again I'm going to give a five percent discount to the customer as per the deal so how we will be executing those things in the system so let's first book the invoice that is FB 70 to book invoice we'll be taking the same customer so first time booking an invoice of ten thousand dollars I would be taking the bill number in the reference part suppose five zero one then you can write a text as well customer invoice and then you can go for a sales ledger the sales ledger is over here as 300000 or if you have any doubt you can go and even you can search with this tab over here so this will give you the ledger list and out of the ledger list we can select the ledger which is needed to us so in this we will be needing the sales account because we need to credit the sales and the customer was already debited on the top so and over here we have to take ten thousand dollars text sales to Xerox we need to take the business area so have taken the business area as well and now we can go and we can simulate the transaction and we can see what is the entry which is generated so you can see there is a warning message we don't need to put a text over here right now so we can enter on the screen and can move forward so the entry generated is Xerox is debited so for knowing what is debited there is a plus sign and over here otherwise you should remember that for customer debit the posting key is 01 whereas for ledger account credit is 50 and the amount is also over here with a mark minus which means credit so this is how it is and on the header side this is the first box over here is termed as the header so on the header you can see the date posting date document date company code fiscal year period your currency your bill number it is the reference has been reflected to you so if you find everything is complete then you can move on you can click on the post option so as to post the transaction so you can see the transaction has been posted again over here if I want I can go back and I can check my invoice with the report FBL 5N as we have discussed so you can see this and we can go to this open item now because the invoice we posted is an open item because it will become a complete cycle of the transaction when the incoming payment will be there so first is the invoice then the whole transaction goes in between invoice and incoming payment it could be debit note credit note and all and then you go for the incoming payment and you, then the whole whole particular transaction circle is complete so you can go to this open item and you can see what are your open items left and these are the open item only on which you receive the payments from the customer so executing it and you can see that there is only one particular document that is we just posted over here 10,000 US dollars document number is this even if you need certain details you can go to this change layout and you can add over here whatever details you need further for 
your clarifications so you can see they are list over here on this side whatever you need you can take from this side to the other side suppose I need business area next I would be needing is let's see what are the different things which comes up over here so I need suppose the debit and the credit indicator which will let you know what is debit line item and what is credit line item moving to the next now is suppose I take the posting date as well now we take these all we have selected these we can go to this and we'll select it from the right to the left side and you can see the business area debit credit note posting date has over here and you can see these have been selected over here so moving up over here now D oblique C means debit credit indicator where S basically means the debit whereas H represents credit so this is your uh, report layout as of now there is only one transaction visible to you now we can go back again uh, let's take a new screen and we can move to the next transaction so we have booked an invoice now if you want you can again go for and you can book a credit memo again over here so suppose the credit memo transaction code was FB75 if you go and you can have a look FB75 so we will be booking a credit memo again so as discussed the ten thousand dollars is the invoice suppose 500 has been lost or stolen in between as uh, on the way so that is what we can take as a credit memo so the GLB will be selecting is again sales because earlier with $10,000 sales has been credited so now we'll be debiting sales with the amount of credit memo that is 500 and over here you need to you may leave ev everything but you at least have to take this business area else the system can give you error because business area is mandatory for the transaction code so now we can we can go for simulating the transaction over here now when you simulate again there is a warning message on which you can press enter on your keyboard it will take you to the next screen and now you can see the transaction preview is reflected and if you find that the transaction is okay then you can go and you can post the transaction so we have posted the transaction the document number has been generated over here अगर ऐसे लोग रात को ठुके हैं कितने गंदे ठुकेंगे ये लोग भगवान so moving ahead we have booked invoice the document has been posted again you can go back to the report over here suppose this is the report and I want to update it so you can go to this list and you can run this refresh and you can see the transaction has been updated on the report 500 as a negative sign that means now the 10,000 invoice minus this 500 amount of uh, credit memo in it so the net payment from the customer due is 9500 US dollars so now moving up next is that we have booked the invoice we have taken the credit memo now is the time for the incoming payment from the customer and suppose we want to give certain discounts to the customer how will that work so going for the incoming payment the transaction code is F-28 enter now we can put the details over here take the bank take the business area take the amount I don't know the amount so I will be taking one dollar I cannot take a star in the very beginning the system will not allow me 
as you can see will not allow you so we need to take over here as one dollar and later on we can come back and we can fill the amount as required select the customer and now you can go to this process open item and you can see these both are already selected because these are in blue color as a as a highlighted part selected one so if you want to deselect you can double click on that and even you can double click and see the balance will change over here as you will select this or deselect it so I will be I have deselected both of these that is why the value over here is zero because I have not selected I have not selected means I have not assigned over here as of now so now I will be selecting first this invoice that is 10,000 has been assigned next is the credit memo so when I selected the credit memo the net amount comes to 9500 now I want to give discount of 5% on this amount so the 5% of this comes out to be how much that you need to check so 10% is 950 so 5% is 475 dollars so if you want to give the discount you have to go to this discount column and you have to put the amount of discount enter and you will okay so it says that discount may be granted only up to 50 US dollars you cannot give more than 50 dollars because in the customization the maximum cash discount put up over there is 50 dollars so let's take 50 dollars as a cash discount so once you take 50 dollar over here it will change the balance over here so now the total amount which has to be taken up is 9550 okay so I think that I've done something wrong I don't have to take the discount over here I would be giving the discount on the invoice not on the credit memo so I have to go over here to give the discount so here I would be taking $50 that's when I will be giving $50 as a discount so the net amount is 9500 minus this 50 cash will come to 9450 so enter and you will see the amount is changed to 9450 as a incoming payment so now moving up over here we'll be changing the amount over here that $1 to 2450 dollars going to the document overview double click on this line item and now I can put a star on this so this is it, the system will take the value of its own if, if you want you can put a text over here as well now we can again move to this process open item and you can check that now the 95 90 450 is balanced and the not assigned is come over here as a zero so this is how you have to take and now we can move to the simulate option so when you simulate you will get the document preview and over here you can see that the customer is 9500 net receivable and 50 dollar is the discount given so the net receivable is 9500 minus 50 is equal to 9450 so is it okay then we can move and we can click on the button to post a transaction so selecting on to this and the transaction has been posted over you can see so now suppose the transaction is posted I want to see in my report how it will reflect when I refresh this so when I will refresh this it will update the transaction with the incoming payment and it will reflect as no item selected why because we were looking after to the open items and now the transactions have completed that means they have turned from the open item to
clear items because the invoice has been there the credit memo was there the cash discount was there but with the incoming payment the whole transaction gets completed the whole cycle gets completed so if you want to see those transactions you have to go to this cleared items and when you click on this select the cleared items you can go to this execute option and you can see the report that all those transactions have moved to the bill so you can see the transactions ten thousand dollar was the invoice ninety five fifty was sorry ninety five hundred dollar was the net payment which has been received and the discount is also included in it so this is how it works this is how you would be doing it now even if you want to see the balance in the customer account that is FD 10 N you can have a look to that as well FD 10 N so we can execute the report and you can see the balances will be reflected to you as per the period wise so you can see the eighth period has got debit and credit and the net balance is equal to zero this is how your period wise balance is displayed on a screen and that is what is all about customer or you can say the account receivable so you need to go to this there are couple of reports which are helpful for you for customers that will be coming up in a separate separate training session for reports which are important for each and every sub modules uh, when we will be completing all the sub modules at the end so thank you today's session we'll see you in the next training session